capital. BJP Karnataka members of parliament are now protesting inside the parliament over the alleged misuse of funds by the Karnataka government. This is a counter protest that we are now seeing inside the parliament here. Remember, there is uh, the Karnataka Congress leaders, the chief minister, uh, several senior leaders in the cabinet there who are here in the national capital protesting against the central government over fund allocation, over devolution of taxes as well. In response now, the BJP is protesting both in Bengaluru and in the national capital. We're given to understand that BJP members of parliament are uh, now protesting here in the national capital. This is at the Gandhi statue inside the parliament. These are BJP members of parliament who are protesting against what they claim is alleged misuse of funds that have been allocated by the centre, by the state government. Remember, parallel protests are also happening uh, outside the Vidhan Sauda in Bengaluru, where uh, Karnataka BJP leaders are protesting against the state government. Harish, my colleague, now joining us, getting us more details. Harish, we're seeing uh, protests versus protests really over this issue, both in Karnataka and in the national capital. Well, in fact, uh, the BJP has just started protesting uh, outside, uh, inside Vidhan Sauda, in front of the Gandhi statue here. Uh, if you look at what they're uh, protesting here, they're saying that uh, this is actually a move to uh, divide the country. And that's why all the, all the Congress MLAs, ministers and the chief minister are in Delhi to divide the country. It's a secessionist move by the Congress. That's what they're saying. In fact, uh, if you look at the arguments made by all their leaders over the last uh, couple of days, they are talking about the funds that the union government has given to the state over the last few years. They are also saying that uh, it hasn't been put to use. They are also saying that perhaps the fact that the Congress gave tall promises of implementing five, free five freebies has resulted in a severe financial crunch and uh, that's why Karnataka is ending up demanding more uh, from the union government. They are also talking about how uh, there are false statements given by uh, the chief minister and uh, his cabinet ministers on what has been given by the union government in the last few years. In fact, Mr. Uh, Uday Gardachar is here, uh, one of the senior call, uh, BJP leaders. Sir, allegations by the chief minister that Karnataka is being given out a stepmotherly treatment. They are not getting enough in terms of devolution of funds. They are saying also 5,000 odd crores promised for the Upper Badra project in the previous budget hasn't even reached state coffers. How does the BJP in any way uh, go ahead and defend this, sir? No, no. We, we are there to give money to everybody, boss. See, there is a certain amount of money that has to be given to, the, uh, to a particular party. Now, party in power is our uh, Congress. Our chief, our prime minister has allocated so-and-so funds to so-and-so people. So the fund allocation is in perfect shape. These guys, you know, at the drop of a hat, they think that everything that we are doing, you know, they are trying to just fool around with us. But this is not fair. When money is being given, why should we be stepmother, we should give a stepmotherly treatment to these people? In what way? Isn't it? On the contrary, these guys are not giving us anything. Now, for example, in my own constituency, these guys are not giving us the money. We are asking them, give us some grants. The, the, the state government says we are not getting it from center, so we will not give you. Hmm. Whereas the other uh, fellows who are there, right, in the constituency where they are in power, those guys are getting the money. Hmm. How is it that we are not getting the money? It's unfair. It's very Sir, unfair. Direct allegation against uh, the finance minister saying that there were two specific rem recommendations for special grant from the 15th Finance Commission and the fin finance minister has rejected it. It hasn't come. And they are saying that is to you know for around 11,000 crore rupees. All that is nothing, but it's all false. Hmm. See, as far as the Bharatiya Janata Party is concerned at the center, why are we persistently coming into power? Hmm. Because we are doing good things. Whereas in the Congress party, these guys are you know just for, for the sake of uh, kicking up a racket, for the sake of uh, troubling us, these fellows are doing all this. So, in reality, whatever is the fund that is being given by the government, the central government, they have been giving it perfectly. In what way are they doing it wrong? I don't think so. Also, similar voices from Kerala government as well, probably Tamil Nadu will be next, talking about it. Do you sense that this is coming at a time when Lok Sabha elections are just a couple of months away? It's politics. It could be also. It could be also. 
because as far as we are concerned, as far as we are concerned, we are there to give the our government at the center. They have never been partisan to anybody, right? We are never meeting out uh, stepmotherly treatment to anybody. Why should we do it? See, the entire all the country belongs to us, isn't it? So that is how we have to think. Also. Thank you, sir. Thank you for speaking to us. There you go. Uh, in fact. Uh, the other question being raised by the BJP MLAs here is what is it that you're talking about step on the treatment when you haven't given grants to BJP MLAs here? Remember, this was a huge controversy uh, last year when the state government gave grants, especially in Bangalore, to Congress MLAs and the Congress MLA constituencies, but not BJP constituencies. And that had uh, kicked up a major storm. And now the BJP coming out and saying, what are you talking about stepmotherly treatment? Right. Look at what you did. They're also saying that uh, there's very little that the finance minister can do. Uh, they can't stop the recommendations or what uh, the finance commission has ordered to be given to Karnataka. So the question remains the same. Who's denying whom of funds? Well, the answer differs depending on whether you're speaking to the BJP or the Congress because the Congress is protesting against the central government over fund allocation here in the national capital. DK Shivkumar, the Deputy Chief Minister of uh, Karnataka, speaking exclusively to us. Listen in. Just two questions. I'm joined by DK, I'm joined by DK Shivkumar. Sir, what, in what demand have you come here, sir? Demand to ask for our rights, ask for justice, ask for our taxes. What, what, whatever we are, share we are was supposed to get, we should get the share. The BJP says that uh, the criteria is fair for everyone and misleading the people no, no, as far no, no, as... No, 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 no. BJP is trying to give a stepmother treatment to Karnataka. But that is what uh, DK Shivkumar is in fact saying, that a stepmother treatment is being meted out uh, to the people of Karnataka by the central government. Sharon, my colleague, uh, will be joining us shortly, getting us more details of what's transpiring here in the national capital. But Harish, uh, as far as fund allocation goes, uh, the fact that the devolution of taxes was one of the issues that was raised by the chief minister, that is something that the central government has countered with facts, that in terms of absolute numbers, the increase has been uh, manifold as far as Karnataka goes. Uh, also, the difference is not a lot uh, from what UPA used to disburse to what uh, NDA is disbursing. But has there been any reaction coming in about uh, the special grants or other funds that were promised that have not been uh, allocated yet? Well, if you look at uh, two major uh issues that the Congress has raised. One, as you rightly mentioned, is the devolution of taxes. The other one is the special grants that were recommended by the 15th Finance Commission and also the announcements made in the previous budget by Nirmala Sitaraman. They are saying special grants to the tune of 11,000 crore rupees was uh, something that the 15th Finance Commission recommended. 3,000 crore rupees for a peripheral, peripheral ring road project for Bangalore and another 3,000 crore rupees for maintaining water bodies, lakes and other ponds in Karnataka. Apart from that they're also saying that there was a special grant of 6,000 crore rupees both of it are roughly uh, totaling to around 11,000 crore rupees this the state government says was stopped at the behest of the union finance minister uh, the other grouse that they have is that the union fin finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman is a MP Rajya Sabha MP from Karnataka so they are saying that the least that we expect from her is to safeguard the interest of a state where she's also a representative uh, the other issue here is uh, what what has happened in terms of devolution of funds the government saying that although the bjp constantly talks about the absolute numbers how many crore rupees has been given to karnataka compared to upa versus uh, uh, nda uh, both uh, between 2014 and 19 and from 19 up till now they are saying it should be uh, discussed in terms of percentage it should be compared to what the overall budget outlay of the union budget is they are saying the budget has doubled uh, since 2018 but the amount of money given to Karnataka hasn't doubled in fact it has reduced and uh, that is why it's becoming difficult for Karnataka they are also saying that uh, uh, if you look at the narrative that's come out Poonam it's very clear. Uh, in, the, in the previous uh, tenure of Sidramai, he, he would always talk about how it's injustice to South and also North Indian states are being given more. Right. But this time around, they're careful with it. They're not making it a North versus South debate. They're not talking about how much is going to other Northern states. They're saying we are okay with money being, a little extra money being given to Northern states. Now they are in alliance states. with uh, several is, Northern Indian right parties. Uh, the India alliance is also a big Absolutely. factor that they have to think of when they make comments like this, which is also why DK Suresh
Suresh's comment about a separate nation uh, triggered that kind of controversy that it did. Do stay on with us. Sharon also now joining us. She's at Jantar Mantar where uh, the Karnataka Congress leaders are protesting. What are the scenes like there, uh, Sharon? Well, I'll just take you straight across to what is really happening at Jantar Mantar Poonam. Uh, right here, you can see the entire Karnataka cabinet is here at Jantar Mantar, including the chief minister, uh, the deputy chief minister, D.K. Shivkumar. There are a number of banners that has been put up here which says, Modi ji, Karnataka is the economic engine for India. Our blood, our tax, our right, our sweat, and, and we want justice for Karnataka. So, if I ask my camera person to pan and show you, all these are in fact MS. MLAs, MPs and MLCs. Now, uh, in this particular protest, the party workers have told that they are not supposed to come. This is going to be a protest by only the cabinet members, by the MLCs and the MLAs. And we have, in fact, spoken to a number of uh, these uh, uh, Karnataka MPs and MLAs who have, in fact, been saying that uh, this is clear biasness and injustice that is happening to Karnataka. Even the statistics of the state as well as the centre says that Karnataka has been paying maximum number of taxes, but when it comes comes to the return, there is nothing that they are getting. Now, another poster over here says that Prime Minister, where is our uh, drought relief funds? And also saying that 150 days work in Mandrega, where is the money? All these are with the demands with which the Karnataka uh, uh, cabinet, the Karnataka MLAs and MLCs have reached Jantar Mantar. Now, I also want to point out, Poonam, that today it is just uh, Karnataka uh, leaders who are protesting, uh, Congress leaders. Tomorrow, the Kerala government, including the LDF and the DMK from Tamil Nadu, are going to protest. So clearly, the strategy here is to make this 